It's really lovely to have this opportunity again to share something with you as we walk through our Spring into Psalm series. And I want to share a psalm with you today that I recently listened to a podcast and, and this psalm was talked about and things around this psalm and I don't know if I'd really ever really read this psalm before and, and if I did, I've really looked at it in a completely different way. And as I listened to, to the preach on this and read into Psalm 77 a little bit more, it began to read like a psalm that, that was an encouragement when you're feeling lost, when you feel like you don't know where you're going, when you feel lost, when you feel like you can't go on much longer. And, and I don't mean the kind of loss where when you're out for a walk or you're out for a drive in the car and you lose your way and you're looking at a map and you don't know which way you're actually going. And, but it's that same kind of feeling, the kind of feeling of you feel lost. You don't really know where you are. You don't really know what's going on around you. And, and, and you begin to kind of teach yourself and, and cook coach yourself on and to say everything's fine, everything will be fine, everything that we need is just around the corner, that place is just around there, we know where we're going. But then sometimes we get to a point where we might start to question ourselves and we think, is this the right way? Is this the path? Is this the path that I'm supposed to be on? And then maybe sometimes we get to a point where we feel a little bit disappointed and we start to worry. We start to worry and we start to think, this isn't how it's supposed to be. This isn't how it's supposed to look. This isn't how I'd planned all of this out. And you feel a little lost. And maybe you come to a place and a space where you think, I thought God was here. And I'm not sure. I can't hear him. And I can't feel him. And, and I just feel lost. I just don't know where I am and I'm not sure how much longer I can go on like this. And Psalm 77 reads like a man who, who had lost his way and, and couldn't feel God anymore. Let me just read, start reading this to you, verse 1 and 2. I cried out to God for help. I cried out to God to hear me. When I was in distress, I sought the Lord at night. I stretched out on tiring hands and I would not be comforted. This psalmist we see is having trouble sleeping, his mind can't rest. And I don't know about you, but, but the last six weeks might like look like this for some people. They can't sleep, they can't rest. You're stressed, you're worried, you're losing sleep because you're afraid. You're afraid of, of what's going on in, in the world around us. You're afraid of catching a fire. You're afraid for your loved ones. You're afraid for your finances, your job, afraid of of how do we get back to normal? When do we get back to normal? And I don't know if that's you, but I know that that's been me over the last wee while. And the next four verses in, in Psalm 77, the psalmist goes on to say, I remembered you, God, and I groaned. I meditated and my spirit grew faint. I was too troubled to speak. I thought about the former days, the years of long ago. I remembered my songs in the night. He remembered his songs in the night. That's like, like us when you, when you can't sleep and those nighttime questions start to creep in. Do you know what I'm talking about? Those nighttime wanderings of your mind that won't let you rest, that won't let you sleep. I know that this can be me sometimes and you don't get to sleep. You go over everything in your head. Worry, fear, more worry, dread, the what ifs. And you just feel lost. You feel like you don't know where you are. And sometimes in moments like this, this is when sometimes some crazy questions start to creep into your minds and you try to catch a grip of yourself. But maybe like this psalmist in verse 7, he goes where he says, Will the Lord reject me forever? Will he ever show his favour again? Has his unfailing love vanished forever? Has his promise failed for all time? Has God forgotten to be merciful? Has he in anger withheld his compassion? I don't know if you can relate to those verses where you think, is God there? Is God here? And in Psalm 77, we see that this psalmist says that because I know that worry and anxiety come and, and I am that person. You plan out the scenarios in your head, the what ifs, and sometimes those things never happen. 
But what do we do when we find ourselves in this place, this place of worry, this place of stress, this place of feeling completely lost? I'm going to share something with you now that, that I learned through this psalm and learned through hearing what was preached on this psalm about breaking this, this circle within your mind. The next 11 verses of the Psalm 77 is about to show you how you do that. And when I read this and I heard this, it made me realise that, that I am not alone. We are not alone. You are not alone when you walk through those periods or those seasons, when you just feel a little lost. You know that God's there. God's never been far away. But deep down, you know that he's there, but you still feel a little lost. So the first nine verses of this Psalm 77, we hear this psalmist crying out to God and asking God, are you there? Where are you? Can you hear me? But these next 11 verses show us how he shifts his perspective and how we can do the same. These next one, these verses aren't just going to make everything better and make everything go away, but they're going to show you how you can shift your mind. And in verse 10, this is the shift. The stuff that, that takes it from you talking about me and, 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 all of, and all of you, but and it goes from going from myself to my God. Listen to this verse 10. Then I thought, to this I will appeal the years when the Most High stretched out his right hand. And then listen to this next bit, because this is the bit that it's going to go from the what ifs to worship. The perspective is about to shift from self to the character and nature of God. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. I will consider all your works and meditate on all your mighty deeds. Your ways, God, are holy. What God is as great as our God? You are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the peoples. With your mighty arm, you redeemed your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, God. The waters saw you and breathed, and the depths were convulsed. The clouds poured down water. The heavens resounded with thunder. Your arrows flashed back and forth. Your thunder was heard in the whirlwind. Your lightning lit up the world. The earth trembled and quaked. Your path led through the sea, your way through the mighty waters, though your footprints were not seen. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Do you know, sometimes the only way to look forward is to circle back. What do you do when you feel worried, when you're lost, when you're awake at night, you can't sleep, you can't rest, you're circling around the ifs, the what ifs, the buts, the, the buts, the what ifs. You stop. You stop the focus on you and you shift it to God. You stop and remember how great and how powerful God is. He's a good God. He's a miracle working God. He's a promise keeper. He loves you. He's for you. What has God done for you? Take a second. Take a second today and look back over your life. Because he's been there. He's provided. And why would he stop doing that now? He's been with you in the past and he will be with you now. He will be with you the whole way through this time too. So let's use our devotion today and, and sometime throughout the rest of the day to speak out those times when God made a way through. When you were lost, that he rescued you. When you were sick, he healed you. He provided for you. Speak those things out today. We serve and are loved by a God who makes a way for you. Look at verse 19 where it says, Your path led through the sea, your way through the mighty waters, Though your footprints were not seen, even when you don't see it, even when you don't feel it, God is still working. So today, let's remember that God is with us. We're not lost. He's not lost. He's been with you in the past and he's going to be with you now. And maybe during this time, God has given you an opportunity to know him deeper, to really know him to really trust in him, to hear him speak to you and remind you that you're not lost. 
So today, if those waves of worry or those waves of anxiety or fear wash over you, just whisper to yourself, I'm not lost. Or you wake up in the middle of the night and you can't sleep with the what ifs and the buts, just whisper, I'm not lost. And if you walk through your new normal during the day, you walk through and work, you're walking through homeschooling, just remember that you're not lost. God knows and is the way. And allow ourselves to know that true meaning of that word Emmanuel through this season, God with us. Before I pray over you, I just want to reread through Psalm 77. And remember that through this first part, it was the shift on us. And then the second part is our shift to God, the change in our perspective. I cried out to God for help. I cried out to God to hear me. When I was in distress, I sought the Lord. At night, I stretched out my untiring hands and I would not be comforted. I remembered you, God, and I groaned. I meditated and my spirit grew faint. You kept my eyes from closing. I was too troubled to speak. I thought about the former days, the years of long ago. I remembered my songs in the night. My heart meditated and my spirit asked, will the Lord reject me forever? Will he never show his favor again? Will his unfailing love vanish forever? Has his promise failed for all time? Has God forgotten to be merciful? Has he in anger withheld his compassion? Then I thought, to this I will appeal the years when the Most High stretched out his right hand. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. I will consider all your works and meditate on all your mighty deeds. Your ways, God, are holy. What God is as great as our God? You are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the peoples. With your mighty arm, you redeemed your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. The water saw you, God, and the water saw you in reed, and the very depths were convulsed. The clouds poured down water, the heavens resounded with thunder, your arrows flashed back and forth. Your thunder was heard in the whirlwind, your lightning lit up the world, the earth trembled and quaked. Your path led through the sea, your way through the mighty waters, though your footprints were not seen. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Father, we thank you for, for your goodness and for your love. And Father, we thank you that, that even when we feel lost, Father, we're not really lost because you're there right beside us. So Father, I pray over our day, I pray whatever we walk through today, whether that be at work, whether that be at staying at home, whether that be homeschooling, Father, I pray that you would be with us in every part. Father, those moments where we have moments of, I can't feel you, God, I can't hear you, God, are you here? Father, those moments of feeling lost, Father, would they just disappear? And would your unbelievable presence just flood those moments? Father, would you, would you draw us closer to you as we go through our day, as we go through our night, Father? Father, that we would always remember that you are God, that you are there. Father, that you are Emmanuel, God with us. Amen. But this we know